So if we have a look in AX8 Edit, here is our preset as it stands. We need to do a few things. The first thing, I want my delay and reverb to be on my cabinet sound. So I'm going to have to move a few things around. Namely, I'm going to put the cab as the last in the series. Now, I can tell a cabinet impulse response is a linear and time invariant, meaning that if I put it after delay or reverb or before, the only thing that can possibly change the sound is the cab high and low cut. So you may notice that if you've got the low cut and the high cut set to certain values, that will affect the tone of the delay and the reverb. However, it's exactly the same way it would work into a real guitar parent and cabinet. They would be attenuating real frequencies. Moving on anyway, I'm going to make a little bit of room here. So essentially, I imagine that the cab here, working like a real guitar cabinet, what I'm going to do is, underneath in a parallel row, I will create an effects loop block and I'll connect that after my last effect. In this case, the reverb. So what is happening now is signal is flowing down into the effects loop, which is output number two. You would send this output to your power amp and your guitar cabinet at the same time, signal is going into the cabinet simulation and then direct to front of house or a monitor. So that's how you can use a real cabinet and power amplifier at the same time as running direct, which is very, very cool. A few things though, if you're running into a tube power amp, normally you would want to disable the power amp simulation. However, if you do that, you've got power amp simulation turned off on the direct cab sim signal. So I wouldn't recommend that. This basically works best when you're using a solid state power amp, something like the Matrix GT series works really well into a guitar cabinet. One final tweak, go into your amplifier under the speaker drive settings. I recommend setting the speaker compression to zero. It will change your tone slightly, but the tone coming out of your cab is gonna be less compressed. You know, we're not accounting for that speaker compression. It's happening in the physical speaker cabinet of power amp now not in the virtual one. So that's the one little tweak that you have to make in order to get this to work optimally. However, as with all of this, use your ears, trust your ears over your eyes.